If your screen time is looking like this, you need to pay close attention to this video because they're going to help you a lot. Are you tired of feeling overwhelmed and unproductive? Do you find yourself constantly distracted by social media, emails, and other digital distractions? Then it's time to glow up mentally and start doing monk mode. But first, what is monk mode? Monk mode is a productivity technique inspired by the discipline and focus of monks. It involves setting aside specific times of the day to disconnect from distractions and focus on your most important tasks. This can help increase productivity and creativity and can even reduce stress and anxiety. Why do I need to start monk mode? You will accomplish a lot of work in a short period of time. You will feel a sense of accomplishment and fulfillment in your life by focusing on the most important tasks and increasing the chance to achieve your goal with less time. Pretty cool, right? That's why I'm sharing this concept on YouTube because I need it to get more popular. All right, after knowing your why, it's time to talk about how to start monk mode. There are three non-negotiable steps to start doing monk mode. First, we have 10 minutes of meditation. Meditation can reduce stress and anxiety, improve focus, and increase feelings of well-being. I know that you hear all the gurus talking about it, and you tried it in the past and it didn't work. Just wait till the end of the video and I'll give you a beginner-friendly monk mode protocol to begin trying it tomorrow. Second, we have exercise for 30 minutes. Exercise can make you happier and make you consistent on the projects you're doing. We can take the example of the YouTuber KSI after training for his boxing match. He was very consistent in making YouTube videos. You can start with just a few minutes of exercising each day and work your way up. Third, we have no drug use, so no weed and no alcohol. They both have potentially negative effects on physical and mental health, and they can decrease focus and make you feel sluggish so you can't focus on your work and achieve your goals. You can add more things to your non-negotiables list like I did. So this is my protocol so you can have an idea. 10 minutes of meditation, exercise for 30 minutes, no drug use, no junk food, a gallon of water, no prawn, no fap, using phone for one hour only, sleeping eight hours. It's tough, right? But it's worth it. It changed my life and it can change yours too. So the main reason I did monk mode is to increase my focus and work on the most important tasks like this video you're watching. So you'll need to set aside specific blocks of time during the day to focus on your most important tasks. This could be in the morning, before the rest of the world wakes up, which worked for me, or in the evening after the workday is over. You do you. It's important to choose a time that works best for you and that you can stick to consistently. I recommend reading the book Deep Work by Cal Newport. He dives deep into this subject. I'll leave the link in the description down below. So during your deep work time, it's important to disconnect from all distractions. This means turning off your phone, closing any unnecessary tabs or apps on your computer. You want to create a quiet, focused space where you can work. Because if I see my phone, I have a high chance of picking it up and start scrolling. So just hide it or put it in another room. As you finish your deep work time, you'll feel a sense of satisfaction and accomplishment knowing that you've used your time wisely and focused on what truly matters. Give it a try and see how it can change your productivity and focus. And like I promised, I'll give you a beginner-friendly protocol. So for this beginner-friendly protocol, you need to lower your ego. It's very important. Promise? All right. So tomorrow when you wake up, I need you to make your bed. It's the first task. It's the first win of the day. Then do three minutes of meditation. I recommend using the Balance app. You can find it on the App Store and Google Play. It will guide you if you're a beginner. After that, if you exercise already, go to the gym first thing in the morning. But if it's your first time exercising, you can do some stretching in the morning. You can find a follow along stretching routine. I'll put the link in the description. And after that, write three things down that you're grateful for. You will feel more grateful for the rest of the day. For example, I'm grateful that you watched my video till this moment. I want you to try this for one week and let me know in the comments after trying it. And you can start with just a few minutes of each activity each day and work your way up. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. It will help me a lot. Bye bye.